Hey, this is Tim, Southwest Ohio Bees, your common sense beekeeper. As you see from the title, we're going to talk about something rather serious tonight. You've heard a lot of other beekeepers talk about this. There are a lot of videos concerning the current colony collapse that's happening or that happened let's put it that way it 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 it, it happened to some of the commercial beekeepers and that's about all we can say on it i know some of these videos are kind of long and they go on and on i hate to say it but in some cases pulling the fire alarm and i'm not quite in that boat and i'll tell you why i'm not in that boat contrary to industry uh, standards here, if you will. <laughs> I am an amateur beekeeper, and that's all I am. Um, I have four hives I overwintered this year, down from 12 last summer, uh, and that was intentional, by the way. That wasn't due to, to, to a bunch of losses. That was intentional. I'm not a master beekeeper. I don't have 35 years of experience in this industry. That's not me. And it's not you. For the beginner beekeeper, for the amateur beekeepers out there, that isn't you as well. But all this hysteria definitely has got you concerned and worried. Am I worried? I'm watching it, is what I'm doing. I'm watching it closely. I'm watching the publications. I'm watching the news. I'm keeping my ear open to what's going on. I really want to know what's, what's happening with those bees. As, as far as the loss, I feel for those commercial beekeepers. I really, really truly no one wants to see anybody lose bees and beyond that that's a lot of money for these guys i mean that's a huge amount of bees if we lost half our hives or 70 percent of our hives it would hurt but it's not as financially crippling as it is to those commercial beekeepers so we need to keep them in our prayers please they could use that. No one yet knows why it happened or what's going on. Is it an environmental issue? Is it a treatment issue? Transportation? Some kind of critter? A virus? Maybe that's what it was. We don't know at this point what is causing those issues or caused those issues causing the issues we shall see come spring whether it's still causing possibly very well could we don't know yet now you may say but i lost a hive this winter i lost two hives this winter it's not that unusual. 40-50% loss is considered normal. We don't like it, but it is considered normal. Last winter, I lost no hives. Zero. I was lucky last winter, okay? It's still winter out. We'll see what my losses are this year. I know for sure I've lost one hive. That's on me. That was my fault. I know what happened to that hive. That's my fault that I lost that hive. My bad. Beyond that, we won't know for sure until April. I mean, you may say, well, all my hives are still alive. It's still the middle of winter. Getting to the flows, getting to spring, when they start multiplying, that's when you're going to know whether you got through it. 
a lot of colonies die in March. That's pretty common. A lot of colonies. You got to make sure you keep emergency feed on them to try to prevent that the best you can. Treatment in the fall, too late for that now, but these are the kind of things that we need to do or could have done to help them get through March. Now the South is totally different. They're getting ready to start their spring any day now. Here in Ohio and the North, we've got a ways to go before we reach spring. So what am I doing as an amateur and backyard beekeeper? Just going into my fifth year of beekeeping, what am I going to do? What are you going to do as a beginner beekeeper backyard or as an amateur beekeeper? What are you going to do about this common collapse? You want to know my answer? My answer is absolutely nothing. I have got March to plan for. I have got April to plan for. I've got a flow to plan for. I've got to worry about splits. I've got to worry about swarms. These are the kind of things I've got to worry about in the near future. I've got to start planning for them right now. Otherwise, it'll be too late. If there's a colony collapse issue that's moving my way, I'll have to deal with it when I have that information. Now let me repeat that again. When I have that information, I don't have it yet. Don't know why, don't know what happened, we don't know. And as far as I know, it's not affecting my colonies just yet. So I have to proceed the way I would any spring with the additional knowledge that I've learned from the last few years. I'm going to proceed with that information. That's all we can do is to move ahead the way you would normally do. Make your plans and move ahead with that information. Please. That's what we can do. And listen to the news and publication for any additional information, of course. But for now, just if you like this content, please subscribe. And for additional videos, over there. Yes, for additional videos. For now, this is <laughs> this is Tim, Southwest Ohio Bees. You have a fantastic day.